Some of you may prefer to look at section C of this question, and that is an answering phrase. You are given a full four bar phrase here and you have to answer it with another four bar phrase of your own composition. Again, the same things apply in section C as they do in section B. We will use the same chord progressions. We'll use, we're going to write four bars. So we put in our four bars and we're going to use the same chord progression. So one, four, five, one. Again, they tell us what key we're in. So in this case, it's the key of G major. Now, because we have a line of music given, it's a full four bar phrase and we're writing a second full four bar phrase. It's worth talking about form. So this is going to be our A section and we need to think what are we going to do for the second line? Are we going to have another A section with a little bit of variation or are we going to write a B section? I'm going to explain form now just in one sec. OK, so these are a couple of children's little nursery rhymes just to demonstrate what I mean by form. So in the first example, we have an example of a tune that has an A, A form. So here's our first line of music. So we're going to call that our A section. The next line of music goes like this. So it's nearly the same. It starts with exactly the same notes and it has a slightly different ending. So that would be an A1. A little tune. This is Frere Jaca. Here is our A section. The next bit. is nothing like the first line. So it's completely different. So that's a B section. In the C section, let's have a little look at what they have given us. I have my rough work done out already with my G major scale. And let's have a little look. This first bar is based on, there's a G. It's based on the bar of one. It's G with a passing note to B. D is in that harmony chord as well. And that's another passing note back to B. So that is a chord of one. The next bar is C and E with a passing note in between. So that's a chord of four. Our next bar is G, B, D. They're all part of the chord of one. There's no passing notes, no auxiliary notes, nothing like that. And our last one here is A and that's part of the chord of five. So they've given us kind of similar chords to what we're going to be using down below. Now, if we're going to do an A, B section, so we're, this is going to be our A section, we're going to write something that sounds completely different. But as I said before, our ear likes to hear repetition. We like to hear similar pieces again. So if we look along here, we'll see this is, is a, based on the chord of one. So we could actually take this and use it as our bar, our first bar here. And then we might do a nice little sequence in the next bar. So we're going to copy that bar down exactly. It's based on the chord of one. So we're safe because that's what we need for this bar. And then we're going to look at there's G, G, B, D are the notes that are used from the chord of one. We're going to do a sequence on the chord of four, which is C, E, G. And we're going to use the same pattern. So a sequence is where the same rhythmic and note pattern is used but starting at a different spot so we're going to start in this one it starts on the middle note goes up back to the middle and then down to the lower notes so we're starting on the middle note so we're starting on the e we're going up to the g we're going to keep the same rhythm we're going back down to the middle note which is e and then we're going down to the lower note there okay so then we have one bar left to compose and in our last bar, like the other one, we are going to use our Do, which in this case, because it's the key of G, is G. And we're going to go, <coughs> I think we'll be go high, we'll go high. So we put a semi brief G there and that's our last bar done. I'm going to finish off this bar and I'm going to use the pattern from this bar. 
So we had there there again that is the the lowest note up to the middle, up to the top and back to the middle note with passing notes in between. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to base it on the chord of five, which is this D, F sharp, A. So I'm going starting on the lowest note, which is D, but I'm just going to stay up high because I want to get to this high G. So I'm doing D passing note up to F, which is the middle note of the chord. I'm skipping up to the top note of the chord, which is A. And then I'm doing a passing note like in this bar, like in bar one. And I'm coming back to the middle note of the chord, which is F. Okay. Now we're going to play that and see what that sounds like. Okay, so here's our A section that we were given. And here's our B section. So to finish off, our last little finishing touch is just let to tick everything off and make sure we have everything done. So we have written our four of our melody. We have composed in the key of G. So we have that done. We have ended on the Do, which we did. And have we added suitable phrasing? No, we haven't. So let's do that so we get our last four marks. OK, so when you have four bar phrase, our first four bars that were given to us, we're going to put a phrase marking on that to the last note of that. And the phrase that we wrote, start at the first note of that and go to the last note of it. And that is your phrase marking done, your four marks. I'm just going to show you one version of the A, A form. So this is our given A. We already figured out that this was based on the chord of one, four, one, five. So let's write an answering A phrase. Now it does have to be different. You can't copy exactly down your A section and end on Do. It does need to have something different in each bar. So for example, you're going to do slight little variation. We're going to add in, we're going to copy in this bar, but we're going to make one slight change and I'll play it then and you'll see what a difference that makes. So I am going to add in an, an extra passing note here between the between the B and the D. I'm going to add in an extra passing note. And I'm going to leave the rest of the bar the same. So we're still we're doing one, four, five, one is our pattern that we're using. And we want to end on a long do. So let's finish this bar first. So that's bar one. Uh, so we've done one small change there. In bar two, we're going to change that as well. We're going to make these into quavers. So we're going to go E, D, C, D, E. So we're still using still the chord of four. We're still basing it on the same notes. But we're making a little change to the rhythm. We're still using the same notes. Let's finish on a minimum there. And for the chord of five there, we're going to use the same pattern that was used here in, in this bar that was based on the chord of one. And we're going to use it on our chord of five notes, which is D, F sharp and A. This was based on G, B, D. It starts on the middle note, so we're going to start on the middle note, which is the F sharp. We're going to keep that dotted rhythm. It skipped up then to the top note, the D, so we're going to skip up to the A. It came back down to the middle note, which is in this case F sharp. And then it came down to the lowest note, G. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to finish with a high G here. And again, we're going to put in our phrase marking. So that's our phrase for that bit. And there's our phrase for the bit that was given. Okay, I'll play that for you now. This is our melody with the AA form. So this is the phrase that was given. And this is our answering A phrase.
And there you have it. That is question 7C.